Melchim Shani, 2 Kings 12, in the seventh year of Yahu Yahu, rather, Yahu Yahu Ash began to reign, and forty years reigned he in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Siva of Be'er Shiva. And Yahu Ash did that which was right in the sight of Yahuah all his days, wherein Yahu Yada the priest instructed him. But the high places were not taken away. The people still sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places. And Yahu Ash said to the priests, All the money of the dedicated things that is brought into the house of Yahuwah, even the money of everyone that passes the account, the money that every man is set at, and all the money that comes into any man's heart to bring into the house of Yahuwah. Let the priests take it to them, every man of his acquaintance, and let them repair at the breaches of the house, wheresoever any breach shall be found. But it was so that in the three and twentieth year of King Yahuash, the priests had not repaired at the breaches of the house. Then King Yahuash called for Yahuyada the priest and the other priests and said unto them, Why repair ye not the breaches of the house? Now therefore receive no more money of your acquaintance, but deliver it for eth the breaches of the house. And the priests consented to receive no more money of the people, neither to repair at the breaches of the house. But Yahuyada the priest took a chest and bored a hole in the lid of it and set it beside the altar on the right side as one comes into the house of Yahuwah. And the priests that guarded the door put therein eth all the money that was brought into the house of Yahuwah. And it was so, when they saw that there was much money in the chest, that the king's scribe and the high priest came up, and they put up in bags and told eth the money that was found in the house of Yahuwah. And they gave eth the money, being told, into the hands of them that did the work, that had the oversight of the house of Yahuwah. And they laid it out to the carpenters and builders that wrought upon the house of Yahuwah, and to masons and hewers of stone, and to buy timber and hewed stone to repair at the breaches of the house of Yahuwah, and for all that was laid out for the house to repair it. Howbeit, there were not made for the house of Yahuwah bowls of silver, snuffers, basins, trumpets, any vessels of gold, or vessels of silver, of the money that was brought into the house of Yahuwah. But they gave that to the workmen, and repaired therewith at the house of Yahuwah. Moreover, they reckoned not eth with the men, into whose hand they delivered eth the money to be bestowed on workmen, for they dealt faithfully. The trespass money and sin money was not brought into the house of Yahuwah. It was the priests. Then Hazael, king of Aram, went up and fought against Gath and took it, and Hazael set his face to the ground, rather, face to go up to Yerushalayim. And Yahuash, king of Yahuda, took eth all the hallowed things that Yahushaphat and Yahuram and Ahaziahu, his fathers, kings of Yahuda, had dedicated, and eth his own hallowed things, and eth all the gold that was found in the treasures of the house of Yahuwah, and in the king's house, and sent it to Hazael, king of Aram. 
and he went away from Yerushalayim. And the rest of the acts of Yoash, and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yahudah? And his servants arose and made a conspiracy and slew at Yoash in the house of Milo, which goes down to Silah. For Yazakar, the son of Shimath, and Yahuzavad, the son of Shomer, his servants, smote him, and he died. And they buried him with his fathers in the city of David. And Amatz Yahu, his son, reigned in his stead.